all right when the time comes you know you have to do it because today is the day I'm gonna upgrade from dragonfish to electric eel so from version 2404 to 2410 uh, I'm not I'm not someone who likes to upgrade that often but this is a good upgrade so we can see it's there is updates available uh, since I didn't use the beta I have to switch the train from 2404 to 2410 you can see this is the stable version I actually waited uh, for the stable version to start the upgrade so we can do download updates make sure to export uh, the password save configuration so that what, uh, if something bad happens you can always go back and then apply updates So I actually haven't tried this before, so I'm doing it with you guys. Uh, hopefully it's not gonna break or something, uh, because I have too many apps and I'm already new to all of this. So as you can see, I'm doing the update with you. I haven't done this before, so I don't know what to expect. But uh, I'm excited to use Docker. As you know, in Dragonfish, uh, we still use uh, Kubernetes for the apps. And in this new update, the biggest update is uh, switching to Docker, which is really good for me. So the upgrade is finished. Now it's rebooting. It's going to take some time. Now it's finished. Let's log in again. Hopefully nothing breaks. So it says no updates available. Let's go back to the dashboard. Everything looks fine for now. I can already see some new changes like the IP that's showing clearly here. And uh, I believe, yeah, we can quickly drag and drop here to switch the order. Gonna keep it like this. And there is also a search, so I'm gonna I'm gonna search for shell, for example. I'm gonna go directly to shell. No need to go to system, and uh, if you, it's especially useful if you don't know what you're looking for. Okay, now let's see the most important part of the update: the apps. Looking good. That's already a good sign some apps are still stopped i don't know why exactly okay so it looks like uh, it was just a matter of time also now there is just a simple button here to start and stop the apps which is good hopefully everything is running fine let's try just to enter the ui Yes, it is working. Next cloud. Same. Photo prism. All right, so all apps sh should be working fine now. One more thing. Now I guess when you go to discover app and then custom app. It should be a way to use Docker Compose here directly without this uh, UI. I'm not sure how we can do that. Probably not here. Ah, yeah, here is it. Install via YAML. And then we can copy and paste our Docker Compose. Like and share if you made it this far. See you in the next video.